Good day, everyone. My name is Spoon, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds, episode 13. In the last video, we chose a decision. And this decision was to help Graham instead of Sanja. And that means we helped the Iron Class instead of the MSI. I really hope that's not going to backstab us in the end. And I just helped the Graham and the Iron Class because they w were having problems and they needed help. And I did not know that whoever you vote for, you kill the other side. Oh man. Well, to be honest, the Iron Class are winning, so I wonder if I would have even won if I would have helped the MSI. <laughs> Probably, because I'm a fucking legend in this game. Hello. Are you guys mad at me either way? Oh, you guys won. Are you, you guys are mad at me either way, right? Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, I don't think so. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm losing reputation with him. Yeah, but at what cost? Killing others? And there's a war. Oh, that one just crumbled into ashes. What about you? Okay. Yeah, they got the cool armor we're all wearing. Time to go to Agnes. I think that's the city. I wonder what war we're gonna have here. Oh, yes. I love the strong swings, they're so powerful. <laughs> I, you don't mind if I take from you, right? You're dead. You don't need it anymore, right? <laughs> I'm gonna make so much money from this wall. Hello, who's fighting? You guys okay? Hello. Ooh, you just took a grenade. Oh, I missed. You shouldn't shoot at range with a grenade launcher. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to heavy hit. BAM! <laughs> How about you? Thank you. Bitch. Level 16! Wow! Why, thank you. Pack Mule. Increase your maximum carrying capacity. 50 kilograms extra carrying capacity. Yeah, that's probably gonna help us, just in case if we get overburned again. 170, hell yeah, that's gonna help us a lot. Okay, melee, range, and defense as always, just like sneak and tech and leadership. And then these ones we gotta do on their own. Oh, and to me- oh no, I can still in increase this one. This one. And I guess pursuit is always gonna help us, because I do like- I shouldn't level up lie or intimidate anymore. I should just level up pursued, yeah. Because I don't like to lie to people or intimidate them. But I do like to pursue them to say, Hey, come on, man. Push yourself to the limit. Still obey. Oh, boy. I have a feeling that's going to be ugly. Oh. They were smart and they sealed it. Shit. Do I need to climb this? I mean, I'll just do it for the secrecy. Oh, no, we can't. There's an invisible wall here. Okay, we shall try and find another way. Oh. That one's new. Oh, you were carrying stuff. Oh shit, there was murder here as well. Jesus. Don't mind me taking all this. Yeah, there's more battle in front of us. Alright, here we go. Are you guys iron class? How's it going? See ya. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, I love these enemies. Oh shit, I'm so sorry. Did I rip up on your foot? <laughs> Did anyone see my foot hair around here somewhere? No? Okay, I'm just missing a leg here. Can somebody give me a hand here? Oh no, I, I already made that joke. She lost some shit. Okay, you shoot them. How's it going? Tactician? Oh, and swing! Oh no, you hurt me. 
Oh, nice dodge. Thank you for the weapon bots. Thank you for nothing. Thank you for the ammo. Oh shit, you guys are a lot. Time to have a shootout. I've got you in my sights. Nice shot. Come on, ability. There you go. Ooh. Oh shit, I missed. I I missed again. Damn it. Oh shit. The worst shot in the West. Ooh, I did. But therefore, the most richest in the West. How's it going? You hiding here? You don't even see me? Ay, ay, ay. How's my reputation still increasing? I've killed at least a dozen. No, 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 wait. I didn't kill anybody. I'm putting them to sleep. Like this one. Like this one. You guys are not good at combat. Are you? You guys look amazing, though. Thanks for the stuff. Man, good thing I got that can capacity upgrade. I'm kidding so much shit. What? Here they come. Oh shit, that is a commander. Come on, get back here. Don't run away from me. Oh shit. Cover me. I'm going in. Yep, about that. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Whenever I kill somebody, it heals me a lot. Oh, that's Sanja! The riot leaves in a fine deal. Don't much care for the way he aims to get there. Sanja was outside. I don't know why they waited inside the city with protective walls. Man. No wonder these guys were so tough. He had the best with him. Alright, now that we got everything, I really wonder if we made the smarter choice here. Hello? Oh. Okay, the residents don't hate me, at least. Any guards around here, though? Yeah, don't mind me. I just unfortunately killed all of your guards. Oh, they already took over. Well, shit. Hey. Hello. At least you guys are going in a good mood. How are you doing? Don't have time for this. Okay. You do you, and <laughs> I do me. Darkness. Okay. Why do you have the main doors locked? Oh, oh yeah. Austin, you did it. My little boy is back, safe and sound. Tell the captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? You two need to work this out between you. There's nothing to work out. My baby's back home, and that's all there is to say on the matter. No, Mama. I have plenty to say about this. But that's between us. Now, you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me can have a long talk. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. Thank you. But it's more than worth it to have my Tuk Tuk home safe again. Good luck, you two. <laughs> I'm glad I could help you guys. Okay, anyway, Srinius, is that you? Is that the main campaign now? Yes, it is. Radio V Monarch. Okay, 10,000 XP. Holy shit. I'm about to level up again if that's that high. Oh, well now. 
That is quite a turn of events. Well. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? Congratulations, Ada. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Anything you want to tell me? Uh, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. I'd like to learn about the... Tell me about the colony. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Let's see. Phineas Orbital Lab, Grown, Breaker, Toe 2, Monarch. Uh, Phineas's Orbital Lab. Ah, uh, yes. As Dr. Wells is a wanted outlaw, he built his laboratory into an asteroid. Orbital destinations can be challenging to land on. His more so than most. Hmm. What do you know about Phineas? There is a bounty on his head. One with a markedly high reward amount. Shall I engage the laser weapon system? Not yet, no. Make it so... <laughs> No, do not do that. A sensible choice, as we do not have any laser weapons. Wow. Why do you say the lighting might be rough? I want you to ask about something else. Let's talk about something. Uh, okay. Um, we know why. There's asteroids May everywhere. May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. You already told me that, Ada, but thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Phineas, I'm back where we all started in episode one. Oh, well now. I think the good old crew would be Felix and Poverty. Well, it's awfully quiet. <coughs> Hello? Can you hear me? Or not. Does this work? Oh, damn it. Blast, that's loud. That's his ship that was attacked. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. From who? Do you are you scared of me? <laughs> uh, your lab requires a lot more attention though. But cool place. That you own all this. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since uh, in fact I've never had a visitor. Welcome. Well, let's nice drop it, please. Are you scared of me? I think you're scared of me. <gasps> Is this where it all happened? Let's see. If I want to look back. I think... I don't know if there's... Okay. Maybe I remember seeing this pig... Fr oh. Oh, he rings. Uh, don't mind me. Just take all that. Park watch. I mean, don't mind me stealing your stuff. Oh, Jesus. Not bad. You've been working on quite... You cannot wake others up, I see. Okay. Ooh. These ones. Oh, that one's still alive. He's like, oh, what am I doing? Bubbles. You're adorable. Huh. You guys look weird, but you guys look adorable. Huh. Well, oh wait, what's this? Seals leak, never use this pod. The oh, I was in this one, wasn't I? You spent over four decades in space with nothing but the technology of this little chamber keeping you alive. Those of your fellow colonists are still trapped and similar chambers waiting for you to restore them. Reviving you from hibernation was my greatest accomplishment. Your, ah, your old hibernation mask had to remove it, you know, in case you were prone to vomiting. Okay. Is it powerful, useful, anything? <laughs> Six. That's almost better than that. Okay then, Phineas. You have a nice lab and a shrink ray. Science weapons. Science weapons are unique weapons that have ch strange and powerful effects. Science weapon damage and the sting of their effects both increase as your science skill is increased. Jock engineers ensure bottom line and fire rates are sky high. Uh -huh. I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. Shrink ray, you say? Find a target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable size, whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. 
Why, thank you. You do not have a problem with me taking all your stuff. Thank you very much. Energy. Oh, I can use as many times as I want. Really cool. Almost no damage, but if it's going to shrink them, that's going to be fun to play around with them. Okay, Phineas. What's up? You. I'd clap you on the shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. I don't Once I have those trust you that you're behind a glass covered wall. Bulletproof wall. In charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. Why are you behind a bulletproof wall? Just tell me what to do. What's so important about these chemicals? What was about Mr. Clark? You make it sound so simple. What was about Minister Clark? Hmm. What's important about these chemicals? If I had time and several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. And then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. So what's the plan? What was that about, uh, what's the plan? Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Anything I should know about this, Carmen Lila? Actually, there was something else I wanted to ask you about. Warning label? Uh, warning label? Something about being discontinued due to severe adverse reactions? It's fine. You'll be stealing the chemicals, not ingesting them. Anything I should know about this, Cameron Imagawa? You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. There was something I wanted to ask you. Of course, of course. What's on your mind? There's... There's some reason you're hiding behind the bowl of glass? Yeah, that's what I thought at the beginning. Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Got a moment to talk? Absolutely. Let's talk. Okay, have you met my crew yet? Don't you ever leave your land? <laughs> have you met my crew yet? No, and I've been trying very hard to avoid making eye contact. Fine-looking hideout you got here. My name's Felix, by the way. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just enjoy our plausible deniability while it lasts, shall we? Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret, carefully concealed laboratory? It isn't as if I wanted privacy. Relax, they're with me. Show a little hospitality, Phineas. Uh, honestly? Oh, very well. I can be a little cantankerous when I haven't had my caffeinoids. You have my apologies and so forth. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you found a crew, such as they are. I picked you out of the hope for your talents, after all. It's only natural that others would gravitate toward you. You're right, I'm doing pretty well for myself. Spare me the flattering, Phineas. There was something else I wanted to talk to you about. Um... I guess we're doing just fine. Yes, indeed, we're 
We already die like three, four times. Spontaneously liquefied, which pleases me immensely. Progress. Yeah, there was something else I wanted to ask you. What's on your mind? Anything else? Anything else? Uh, nope, that's it. Okay, um, let's do this then. Journal! Main quest, the sea and the stars. Renius has an associate who can help you locate Mr. Clark. This person works at the Pilimilim docks. Okay, let's go to the city and the stars, or the city of stars. You know, I always thought I was in my own locker. And now that I can actually... Light assault rifle. Okay, good to know. Thank you. <laughs> I need to sign anyway. I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. You okay with Welcome that? Back, Captain. Are you okay with that? How can I be of assistance? You okay with that, Ada? There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Okay. What's that? Ada, do you have a favorite among the crew? It's me, right? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Define... Favorite. Someone you like the most. I see. In that case, my favorite is Sam. <laughs> That's a good answer. Okay. Are you keeping secrets from me? Good. That's good. I could strip you down for parts, you know. Good. That's good. Are you keeping secrets from me? Um. Could she take offense to that? What do you mean? Do you have any examples of secrets you have kept from me? I'm in... I'm one of the lost hope colonists. The scientists revived me from hibernation. Yeah, let's start with that. Truthfully, not that I contain the capacity to lie. I had suspected as much. Your neurological impulses spike at unusual and often inappropriate moments. Oh. It doesn't take a genius to correlate the meaning. Although, if I were a human, I would be considered one. I am glad you felt comfortable enough to tell me, Captain. Oh, thank you very According much. According to my file on the subject, that means you either desire to obtain something from me, or you have formed a partial fondness for my persona. I did. Thank you for confiding in me, Captain. I have been keeping a secret as well, but you shall have to discern it yourself. Are you sentient? Your secret is that you were in love with Alex Hawthorne? You are... Cleans clandestinely plotting to take <laughs> are you sentient what no absolutely not i have no concept of self whatsoever discounting the architecture of a shell persona my captain asked me to construct i identify entirely as a collection of electrical impulses with no fundamental consciousness i never get bored and contemplate hijacking the ship i swear You contemplate of hijacking the ship? <laughs> You're serious that you are in love with Alex Hawthorne? You are putting uh, yeah? I do not like joking about the captain, Captain. And we both know I am not capable of such a complex emotion. Okay. I'm sorry. Um... Is that gonna... How did you guess, Captain? Did Sam tell you? I should have known better than to confide in such a primitive construct in the heat of the moment. Ada, you're amazing. I hope you're not mad at me. You okay? <laughs> oh god, she scared the shit out of me when she was mad. Oh god. Uh, Byzantium freight port landing pad. Holy shit, a plan is huge. I know a plan is huge, Captain, but... I'm receiving an urgent docking request from another vessel. Greetings from the Halcyon Parcel Service. Delivery is guaranteed within standard margins of certainty. I've got a special delivery for Alex Hawthorne of the Unreliable. Uh, with your permission, I'll see it transferred to your ship. Send it over. Um, what is it? It's a parcel, sir. Are you sure it's not a package? What? What is a parcel? A parcel is a shipment wrapped and prepared for delivery, sir. Just send it over. Um... With alacrity. Stand by, Captain Hawthorne. An HPS certified distribution technician has deposited the parcel into your cargo hold in accordance with hazardous waste disposal procedures. They did what? They dispense three complimentary spritzes of Anti Cleo's Citrus Squirt Air Freshener. That's the HPS touch for you, Captain Hawthorne. 
On behalf of HPS, I'd like to remind you that HPS is not responsible for any damage, defacement, or unseemliness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for your patience. And please remember HPS for all of your future parcel-related needs. Sure thing, leave, cut the transmission, and make a rude... And <laughs> guess sure thing. <laughs> sure thing. Okay. Well. Mysterious package. You do make weird noises. Do you know anything about this property? Hey, Captain. I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. Okay, what is it? Sure, what do you need? I was thinking about what you said before. After we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and... And ask June Lei to go steady straight out. Okay. And I'm thinking of doing it here. On the ship. Okay. That's sweet. Can I help? Bring you home to meet the family, huh? Bold move. <laughs> um. That's sweet. Can I help? I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease, and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days, and, well, don't look too close to my fingernails. <laughs> I was thinking, hoping, we could stop by Groundbreaker for gas supplies. I smell like sweet... <laughs> Well, don't look <laughs> too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping we could stop going for both. <laughs> Easy enough, we could run over. <laughs> Rainbow's got a lot of vendors. What are you thinking? You look fine. Same as every day. Fine, whatever I su Um. Yeah, you look, you look fine. Thanks, but oughtn't a person look special for special times? You're right. I mean, what if she leaned close and I smelled like propellant and underarms? You're right. Perception, you're really worried about this. If it helps you feel confident, let's do it. Yeah? Oh, thanks, Captain. That's a hefty load off my mind. No problem. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Because I want to come with. Okay. We can go to the Groundbreaker after this. No, I'm not interested. Hawthorne, I'm forgetting this. Something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should have known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. There's a whole research compound left of the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why, but something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money was offering a hefty bid card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. I don't mean to sound prim, Captain, but there's got to be a better way to ask someone to do you a favor. I just want to say, we got to take this job. This is the closest I ever been to starring in a serial drama. Only thing we're missing is a couple cameras and a soundtrack. At least this won't be boring. Mmm. Ada, what the hell is going on? Lucky Montoya owed Captain Hawthorne a considerable debt. I believe this is what humans refer to as payback. Captain, the message contains landing coordinates for a small asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. It was recently registered to a Wilhelmina Ambrose. Who was this guy, Ada? He was an old friend of Alex Hawthorne's. Well, Lucky I guess... Montoya had a statistically significant tendency to encounter situations of extreme danger. Oh, really? I thought he lost his arm gambling. He was also the fourth best paid freelancer in the system. Sounds promising. This had less correlation with his measured aptitudes, which rank at or below average, <clears throat> than with a pattern of fortunate circumstances. Nota, let's get moving. 
You mean luck? Any chance he's alive? Any chance he's alive? Based on the condition of the limb, I calculate a 92.7% chance that Mr. Montoya expired from his injuries. So you're saying there's a chance? <laughs> there is what humans colloquially call a sprat's chance in a mantasaur's den. That is a very low chance, Captain. But it is I a chance. I transferred the coordinates for Ambrose Manor to your navigation terminal. We can travel there when you are ready. Unless it's a hundred percent, it is a definite chance. Take. Hawthorne, if you're getting this, something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should have known better. But I really like this. Everyone knows big. here. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. There's a whole research compound left to the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why. But something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money and was offering a hefty bit card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. Sam Sud Steeper. Exploding is his unit's middle name. A steeper designed to kill germs rather than people. Locks a per clean sweep for Sam. Okay. Cool. What's this? Bag of moldy uh, sweet hot cakes. Rock hard and slightly discolored, though these moldy rizzers, sweet hearts, cakes are uh, decades beyond their normal refunds after this date. date. Okay. This was really cool. I really like the music, the drama, the theme. I, I agree to Felix. This is a big, big thing. Oh man, I don't know what to do now. Hell my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. You know what? We're gonna do this after we're done with the city and the stars. This seems like the next big thing. Also, faction can its create the Iron Class can now claim Stella Bay. Share the good news with Graham. Oh, of course. How could I forget? Well, I, I discovered a vending machine and I level up. Oh, for fuck's sakes. You know what? Fine. Um, stealth, tech, and leadership. Defense, range, and melee. And then pursued. I have a feeling that's going to help us in the future. I'll accept, please. Thank you very much. Really cool. Ooh, scramble duration, 7%. Hmm, cool. Oi, Graham, I got news for you. I thought this would be easier. Sanjar's death is surprisingly heavy on my conscience. Me too. After all this time. But I mustn't let that distract me from our victory. We can now take our truth to the stars, Captain, and I have you to thank for that. To be honest, I really just didn't like Sanja. You can thank me by saving the colony from the board. Yeah. The boss said it best. Whatever it takes to liberate Halcyon from the board, we'll get it done. Your enthusiasm is truly refreshing, young man. And save it we shall. With every step we take forward, the board's time dwindles. To be honest, I really just... What are you going to do now? For the moment, we will recuperate collect ourselves and our resources. Know if ever you find yourself in need of a favor, you may call upon your friends in Stellar Bay. Understand. Good. I'm a powerful ally. Speak to Graham. Can it's cradle? Alright. And that's it with the planet. Nice to be a service. Now it's time for Phineas's contact. But first we will get to the ship. Alright, Pavati, you wanted to buy some bath supplies at the Groundbreaker, didn't you? So, we will do that now. We are done with Monarch. We'll see what's gonna go we happen with... The Groundbreaker. Happen Terra 2, and now we will see what Pavati wants with the bath supplies. I think I'll initiate an unscheduled rest cycle while you're out. Okay, Ada, thank you for telling me. Are we buying bath supplies from her? Is she gonna steal 10,000 credits from us again? Oh my god. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? No. My engineer is looking to do some deep cleansing. Wants to impress Chief Junlei. I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, 
Auntie Cleo's put out a whole makeover kit, and I snagged a couple for myself. High-grade shampoo and conditioner, scrubby brush, a nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them, too. What's the scrubby brush for? Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such. Me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? It's Pavati's choice. Rosish, when it comes to romance, you can't go wrong with the classics. How about mock apple and synthium poverty sweet just like a pie? An engineer might like refurbished ship, scrub parts and all that. You got a province poverty? It's her choice, yeah. Oh gosh, we never talked about what kind of smells she likes. I think pretty much every spot on Groundbreaker just smells like old socks. It comes down to what sort of intent you got. If I was looking to do a spy job over in engineering, I'd be safe with refurbished ship. Now, if I was a young thing trying to come on all precious like, I'd probably go with Rosish. But if I was doing it for my own self, I'd pick mock apples and cinnamon. I guess you could eeny miny mo it. <laughs> Take your time, dear. A lady's sense has a lot about her. <laughs> eeny meeny miny mo. We'll talk. Uh, okay. Mm, Rosish, if she's sweet and all that, an engineer. To impress uh, scrub parts and all that. Ah, what are we gonna do? Rose smell or ship smell for an engineer? You know what? I think an engineer would want to smell flower again sometime. We didn't have anything rose-ish in Edgewater. I heard it smells real pretty, though. I'll just wrap that up for you, since it's for a special occasion. Thank you. I'll pay for that, ma'am. Thanks for being so helpful. You're welcome, dear. That's it. Thank you very much. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. I sure do. So, Pavati, how do you feel? I hope this fancy soap we got is extra strength. I'm feeling a mite ripe. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Gorgon? So there's your soap. Perception, I noticed you mentioned your dad a lot, but never your mother. I... For maybe for a reason. I'm back to the ship, Pavati. I'm going to on without you. So there's your soap. <gasps> Thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch. Dustback casserole. Saltuna and Xenogold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called, uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. Now, there's gotta be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. All right, we'll figure it out. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but That's I'm fine. sure it's going to be worth it. Yeah, it will probably be worth it. Find sweet dog cakes, buy dustbag casserole. Okay. And I have a feeling... This is house yeah, 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 you and your news. Always the same. Ah, the damn... Okay, no. This time we're not in the damn bathroom. I always get stuck there. No! Not right now! Home sweet home. Okay, uh, is there anything else in here? No, okay. Um, where are we gonna get the other things? Monarch? Again? I thought we don't need to go there again. Okay, Stella Bay it is. Here we go! Long flight, isn't it? We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. <laughs> nice, that one again, Ada. Okay, and I'd say we will do this in the next video. I hope Poverty is gonna find what she needs. And we will see what the other quest is about with the other planet and then the city and the stars. Don't bite the sun. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video as much as I did. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Have fun, enjoy, and good luck. Thank you.